In collaboration with the Africa Finance Corporation, WildAid and the Nigerian Montane Forest Project, Arise News hosted a private screening of two reports on tropical montane forest ecosystems and carbon financing for their protection and restoration. This event was well attended by key stakeholders across the government, the foreign diplomatic community, the banking and finance sector and the media. After the screening, the president and CEO of the Africa Finance Corporation addressed the room on the need for urgent action to reverse the effects of climate change. The adverse cost of climate change on infrastructure in Africa today is about 250 to 200 to 300 billion dollars. If action is not taken today, if we take if we don't take action today, it could rise to 450 billion dollars. And how can we take action today? We can take action across several fronts. The first is to conserve the forests that we have ensure that people that depend on the forest have alternative livelihoods and that we have a program for replanting and conserving the forest. The energy deficit is one of the reasons why we have significant deforestation and we have alternatives. We have natural gas. We need to find a way of producing natural gas using LPG at scale for ordinary people to use to cook. We must avoid the constant use of firewood as a source of food and we have the natural gas that can provide that solution. So we need to be looking at all sorts of solutions. The reports that were screened focused on the Ngalnyaki Forest Reserve in Taraba State. This reserve is one of the only surviving montane forest plots in Nigeria, and it's managed by the Nigerian Montane Forest Project in partnership with the University of Canterbury in New Zealand. The founder of the project also joined in on the event from New Zealand for a question and answer session. The Nigeria Mountain Forest Project is an important piece for Nigeria, apart from the conservation efforts that we just watched and the biodiversity. The project has really produced quite a number of Nigerian intellectuals. I can say that I'm one of the beneficiaries. Well, our ambition at the moment is to see that we regenerate the forest. As Nigeria works on a framework for carbon trading, fueling conversations on carbon financing for the protection of the country's ecosystems is key. According to the United Nations, less than 10% of Nigeria is forest today, so restoring biodiversity is critical. By bringing key stakeholders together, the Nigerian Montane Forest Project hopes to make use of its decades-long research and education initiatives as a catalyst for carbon financing. Leila Johnson-Salami, Arise News.